In this series, I'm showing you how to get the most out of Outlook using Python. In this video, we're going to start up an instance of Outlook using Python and then create and send a plain text email. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to be using IDLE, which comes packaged with Python. If you want to use IDLE, you simply go to your command prompt and type IDLE. Otherwise, you're free to use any other IDE or code editor that you wish. I'm going to be using the interactive shell because I want you to be able to see the changes as we're making them. So without further ado, let's start up Outlook. The first step is to import the required libraries. So type in import win32com.client as client. Next, we need to dispatch or start up an instance of the application. So type in outlook equals client.dispatch outlook.application. I've now dispatched an instance of Outlook. As an FYI, you can use this method to dispatch any of the Office products that you have installed on your computer. Now that you have an Outlook instance, you can create a mail item, which is what an email message is called in Outlook. So type in message equals outlook.createItem and then pass in zero. Zero is the code that represents a new mail item. The codes associated with different Outlook objects are called enumerations. And if you want to find out about the different kinds of objects that you can create, you can see a list of all the enumerations in the video description. The next thing we're going to do is display the message on the screen so that we can see the changes as we're making them. We do this by using the display method on the Outlook application object that we created. So type in message.display. As you can see, the message editor is now on my screen, and I can adjust my window here so that I can see both my Python shell and the message window. Now that we have a mail item object, we can now start setting the properties. The message recipients are set with the two CC and BCC properties. And be mindful of the punctuation. For the most part, the Win32 API use the, uses the camel case naming convention on properties and methods. Okay, I'm going to set a few properties here for this email and you'll see very quickly how easy this is. Now, as you can see, I'm using a, a testing email here. Uh, feel free to use any other email address that you wish. Next, I'm going to set up the subject line. Message.subject equals happy birthday. Now finally, I'm going to set the body of the email using the body property, which is a plain text format. Message.body equals wish you a very happy birthday. And now we have a complete message. Now just for the sake of completeness, if you have the ability to send from multiple accounts, you can also use a property called send on behalf of name, which allows you to send on behalf of another email address that you have permission to send from. Finally, at this point, you will either want to save the email to drafts or send the message. To save the email, you use the save method. So type in message.save. To send the email, you use the send method, message.send. You can also use the delete method, message.delete, if for some reason you wish to delete the message. When you send the message, the editor will close and the message will leave the drafts folder and move to the outbox folder well, it will wait for Outlook to process the message. So if I go to my inbox, I should receive a message anytime. And here it is, just as I sent it. Congratulations, you've created and sent an email from Outlook using Python. In the next video, we're going to learn how to create an HTML formatted email, which gives you a lot more flexibility and gives you the ability to create modern professional looking emails. See you in the next video.